Welcome to everybody on the Intech ZConnect live uh, show um, at our last session for this um, event. So we had a few sessions before today, uh, yesterday, this morning already, and this will be our last session. My name is Victor Grauer, I'm Head of Innovation Management at uh, Kelch, and uh, I'm together with Patrick Kolpatsky. He's in charge of the chat, so you can write your questions or comments into the chat and we will react on it also afterwards, uh, so after this presentation. Um, this is also include for the um, videos, uh, for all the videos will be visible on our YouTube channel. Um, so uh, have a look at our YouTube channel, Kelch, and you will see all um, videos of this presentation of the V345 Covis and also the V346 with CNC uh, drive afterwards and all the other uh, videos uh, we have made. So enjoy the channel also. Let's start with the presentation. Um, I would like to show you the Canova Zetland V345 with Covis today. Um, Presetting and measuring is uh, very important and necessary if we have CNC machine tools in our production because the tools uh, loaded into the CNC machine tool um, need the, or the machine tool controller needs the geometry data of the tools, uh, x and the z value of the tools, and this we can measure with devices like this. Kelch is uh, already well known in the market for making great, um, accurate, precise and uh, easy to use presetting devices uh, for more than 30 years already. And with the Kenova Zetlam V345 with Covis, we have the perfect entry level presetter, uh, vision based, so we have a camera uh, set up here already. Um, which is suitable for most of the presetting tasks in uh, your company. Why is the Kenova Zetlam V345 with Covis a perfect entry level presetter for professional presettings? Um, if we talk about presetting, it should be easy to use, simple, accurate, and the idea of Kelch is having long lasting um, equipment, devices. So even through the design phase, when we thought of creating new uh, models, um, we thought, how can we create a presetting device which will be easy to use, uh, accurate, and long-lasting? Easy to use is very simple. We have a quick adjustment of the axis for the positioning of the camera system onto the tool. So it is counterweighted, so we have very easy uh, movement of the presetting. Um, the rest of the easy to use um, idea, I will show you even with the spindle and the software. Accurate, we have uh, high quality equipment inside this uh, presetting device uh, with uh, high and scales, for example, or high quality um, camera with a CMOS camera inside and all the equipment we um, buy and build in are high quality. And the rest, like the base, where we use um, cast iron, um, is machined and grinded in our own production in Germany, here in Weinstadt. And this is uh, valid for the base and the tower. And also the spindle is made here in Germany, designed and made in Germany in our own production. So we have the full control of the quality um, here in our own hands, in our house, and therefore we can um, ensure the um, accuracy um, aspect on this presetting device. Together with the control, the software, which I will show you a little later, um, I will show you how easy it is to, to measure tools and how um, precise and um, process reliable it is also. Why do we use gray cast iron for the base? Because there are also other materials in the market which can be used for the base. We think of material mixes. That means if we have uh, guideways and spindle components made of steel, then we want to have the base um, for the mix of the materials, which is similar to the technical data of steel. If we combine these two components, then we have a very homogeneous device. Instead of having uh, two different materials with two different um, coefficients, uh, which will result in the B-metal effect, which is really not good for this kind of device. Because we say, we, I mean Kelch, 
makes presetting device and equipment to be used in the production uh, place in a shop floor, not in an air-conditioned room where we have a uh, perfect climate. No, we say our devices and our equipment can be used in the production, in the workshop, beside the machine, with different temperatures and different whatever. So we have equipment for the real life. After designing and building up these uh, devices, we have, of course, our quality inspection and everything else. This is what I said, uh, how we ensure to have the quality. So it's easy to use, it's accurate, and it's long lasting. This is what I told you before. With the Kinoa Setlam V345, we have measuring ranges in X of 400 millimeters and in Z of 500 millimeters. In addition, we have the manual, oh, again, this is a manual, uh, complete manual presetting device. So we uh, move the axis manually and make the measurement manually. How it's to use, simply with a quick adjustment the, on the handle, so we can quick positioning the axis. And if we need, we can fine adjust with these two parts. For the fine adjustment, we have an endless fine adjustment over the complete measuring range. So if we need a fine adjustment after the quick adjustment, we can use it with these bars. We have a camera system here, which I already uh, mentioned. We have a CMOS camera with a telecentric uh, optics and a telecentric uh, illumination, which results in a homogeneous um, view of the tool inside the software and which delivers us uh, very precise and accurate uh, measuring results. We have a measuring window of around five by five millimeters. That means we have 25 square millimeters uh, where we see the tool, uh, parts of the tool, uh, so we can see even small uh, contours um, to be measured so that we find where are we and what do we want to measure and choose what to measure. Let's lose some words about this spindle. This is a precision spindle with a SK50 interface. So we can place SK50, ISO50 tools directly into the spindle and measure them. If we need uh, to adapt to other sizes, counts, tapers, like uh, SK40 or SK30 or HSK or Capto or whatever, then we can use adapters, which are also designed and manufactured by Kelch. And we place them into the base spindle, place the tool. In this case, this is a SK40 tool. And then we have the correct position of the tool for measurement. The spindle itself has a roundout of around uh, four microns on the 300 millimeters, which is quite unique in the market in this price range. It's very accurate and we have additional features for the spindle which we can um, uh, control by this side handle. So we have a vacuum cleaning, uh, not vacuum cleaning, but vacuum clamping, sorry. So this is um, a function which leads to a more precise posi positioning of the tool including the adapters in the base spindle. So we have there more accuracy and uh, repeatability. The spindle can be rotated all the time and if we need to fix it in a certain position, we can rotate handle and then it's uh, fixed. So we activate the brake so I cannot move my tool anymore. This is uh, useful if I have to adjust my fine boring bar, for example, or exchange uh, some tips on a tool and I don't want the spindle to rotate. If I have turning tools and I want to position them as they are positioned in the um, magazine of the um, machine tool, then I can activate the four by 90 degree at indexing. This is the other side of handle. And then it's fixed in a 90 degree position and I can measure my um, turning tools and also preset them. In combination with an option, which is a mechanical um, center height unit, a measuring unit, we can measure the center height of a turning tool. Um, this can be added here on the uh, camera 
arm. And this is also very useful in terms of turning tools, as I said before. How do we measure tools in this uh, Canova z V345? As I showed you already, we can use adapters, place the tool inside the adapter, and then simply move the camera into the tool so that the tool is inside the camera window. As you can see, as soon as I position the tool in camera window, the dynamic crosshair finds the tool automatically and starts the measurement. It finds the maximum points of the contour and measures it. You can see the X value and the Z value directly of the tool. So the next step would be to focus the tool. I activate this function of focusing, rotate the tool a little bit in both sides. I can see that it's focused. I have the highest points I can measure. The control, the Covis control itself is uh, based on a 15 inch panel PC and you can see it's a touch PC and everything inside one screen. So I have a very simple software solution which um, gives me the opportunity, the possibility to measure most of the tools. I can see in uh, big letters and big numbers the X value, the Z value, the tool and the shadow so that I measure it. Additional functions like choosing the adapter because each adapter has its own zero points. And also I can choose tools out of my database because for example now I have a live measurement of the tool and I see the live values. But if this tool is okay or not, I can, uh, I don't know maybe because um, I simply have to measure the tool. But if I have one tool in my database and I choose it, then I can add tolerance values, nominal values, and I can see afterwards if my tool, which I have actually my spindle is within the tolerances or not. For multi-cutter tools, like I have in the spindle at the moment, I can activate an additional feature which is called total image. So I only have to activate this function. Um, by the way, all the functions are placed on the right hand side. So it's very simple to um, choose them and to activate them. With the activated uh, function of total image, I only have to rotate my tool by 360 degrees and then I can directly see the complete contour of my tool and you see in the light gray shadow this is the maximum contour of the tool and the dark um, the black one is the real tool uh, so i can compare the maximum um, contour with each tip and see a deviation if there is one existing like this one for example if there is a big deviation i directly see it and recognize them and can exchange tips or other things, or exchange a complete tool. In addition to this function, I also have uh, another feature which is called the inspection mode. So I can activate the inspection mode for this tool. And there, with this function, I can see if the tool edge is broken or not, or damaged, and therefore maybe not suitable for my operation. I can activate it and deactivate it for visual inspection. If I work, in addition, if I work with um, master tools from my database and I have nominal values and I move away, but I have to choose the tool first. As soon as I position the tool, you can see it's activated again with the nominal values and the tolerances. After measurement, of course, you can print out the values for the tool and go to the machine and type it in and load the tool into the machine tool. Typing uh, the label or printing the label is one option to give out the results, the measured, uh, measured results. But a more smarter way, of course, is to send the measured values directly to the machine. Um, this is the so-called post processor, which we can offer for this type of control already. So we can uh, prepare and give out the files uh, for each control 
uh, no matter if it's a Heidenhain, a Zinomeric, or a Malzac, or whatever. So we can um, give out and um, deliver formats and files for each of the machine controls so that the data from the tools is directly transferred into the machine and there is no risk of um, mistyping the numbers in the machine tool. Um, therefore, this device is already um, has already the feature for the process reliability and to be a part of your smart factory. The Kenoa Settler V345 in general, as you can see it here, is a so-called tabletop presetting device. This means it comes, um, it is delivered together, as, uh, as you can see it here, with the peripheral carriage. So you have the 15-inch panel PC uh, with the keyboard and a place for the printer. And it's, this is uh, everything you need. You can place it on an existing workbench or wherever you have the space. Uh, you simply need um, 230 volts uh, input voltage and five bar pressured air, and then you can start working with this device. The delivery and the setup and the acceptance and the training uh, takes around maybe half a day. So after half a day, um, all the personals should be familiar with this machine and it's uh, the presetting and measuring process can start in your facility. This is how easy it looks like and how easy it is, uh, really is. So if you are interested, we would like to show you more about this device and all other devices also in our uh, own facility here in Weinstadt. Uh, after this show, you're um, invited to join us here and come to us. With these words, I would like to say thank you for joining us, joining the presentation, joining the show, joining the fair. And um, as I said before, we invite you to uh, come to Weinstadt and uh, take a look at the presetting devices and all other products from the Kalish product portfolio. And um, therefore, we can offer you a lot of new things, a lot of good things for your smart factory, your industry 4.0 solutions. And we uh, would be very uh, happy to see you here in Weinstadt. As I said before, the videos uh, will be uh, placed also on our uh, YouTube channel, so you can take a look at them afterwards. And uh, yeah, thank you for joining us. Have a good day. Stay well. Bye.